Cats on the win. Uh, you guys are going to the playoffs. Uh, what does this moment mean? And what was your message to the team? You look like you got a little um, water shower there in the locker room. Definitely, definitely bathing in a lot of fun right now. A lot of excitement. Uh, just so proud of everyone in our organization. Um, so proud of our players. Uh, seizing every opportunity all season long. We got a lot of basketball left ahead of us. Um, but what a moment in time for the Grizzlies, our players, our coaching staff, our front office, our performance staff, our support staff. This is a credit to everyone. Uh, it took a lot out of us all season long, one game to send your season and reach the next level. So proud of the learning and the growth out of everyone, players especially. Um, it's just a proud moment. Uh, but as I told them, you know, we, we gave it all we had uh, to move on. And I know we've got more left. And that's what excites me because these guys find ways to just keep competing, staying together. What a heck of a game. Warriors, unbelievable team, uh, players, coaches to go up against. Um, and we came out and it took overtime against a heck of a ball club and just extremely proud of our guys, individual performances, team performances. There were so many things that don't show up in the box score. Uh, the intangibles that we learn and grow out of this game um, are unreal. So uh, we got to keep building, keep fighting, uh, but this is a great first step of uh, taking that next step for our, for our organization. Drew Hill. Taylor, I have a two-parter here. First of all, uh, where's your excitement level as, as far as getting uh, being able to coach in the playoffs now um, and have that experience for yourself? And second of all, um, on the Jordan Poole foul at the end of the game uh, where he got three free throws, did you consider challenging that? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm blessed. I've said it uh, many times to be a part of this organization, to work with these people, uh, these players. Uh, so I had the opportunity to take that next step with them all together. It's not just about me. It's not about any one individual. Take that next step as a group and to help, you know, help lead uh, during that process is really exciting for me. Uh, it's going to challenge me. I've got to find ways to get better. Uh, I'm going to rely on my experiences, but I'm going to rely on the great players that we got, the great staff that we got, coaches, performance to, to help uh, accomplish what we need to accomplish. It's going to be a tough test in the next round for sure, uh, but this is only going to build and make us stronger for the future. And uh, as it relates to that pool uh, play, definitely was considering it. Really trust our coaching staff, you know, the eyeballs that they had on the play. Uh, just, you know, if it was clear cut, probably was going to challenge. It wasn't clear cut in our eyes. You know, preserving those timeouts uh, late uh, is very helpful. So uh, it was a crucial one. Proud of our group to, to, to pull the plug on that one. Um, just really proud of our guys to withstand a lot of runs. Uh, you know, fourth quarter plays they made uh, to force overtime and then to come up big. I mean, our bench was phenomenal. Uh, Xavier Tillman, Grayson Allen stepping in, uh, assuming bigger roles. Um, that's the depth of our team, and, and it showed out tonight. Evan Barnes. Taylor, ESPN announced that you guys, I believe, are now the youngest team in 10 years to reach the playoffs. You've always talked about not having certain goals, just taking one game at a time. But just for this young team and for you as a young coach to be able to get to this point, what does it say about where you guys are now, even if some people may think you guys are – maybe ahead of schedule, but what does it say about this team being able to rise to this point and just kind of shut a short time? We just focus on us every single day. Um, timelines or timelines and projections and all that, uh, you know, through Zach's leadership, um, the collective effort of our entire program, just understanding we want to be a competitive team. Uh, we want to get great people in this organization. Uh, we're just focused on just being competitive and, and playing meaningful basketball. The fact that we made the playoffs is great. Uh, we've got a lot of wonderful years ahead of us, uh, but we're going to enjoy this moment and reflect on what it takes day by day to just put in the work uh, to compete at a high level every single day. Uh, this is going to test us even more. We're going to grow from this more. We're laying more of a foundation here, even though it's year two. Uh, don't put numbers on it. Just focus on what we're doing every single day. The results will be the results, but everyone understanding where we're headed and everyone's role and responsibility in making that happen. And, uh, you know, and being a part of it and, and doing it together is huge. And this is a reflection of it. We've talked about that all season long, the togetherness of our team, the spirit of our team. Uh, but, you know, very proud of the leadership of our players, Zach, our coaching staff, um, to get here. And we're going to enjoy this uh, for the night. Get ready for a tough Utah Jazz team, best team in the NBA. Um, and hopefully it's a, it's a tough fight and we're going to grow and get stronger and better for it. Uh, but so excited about these guys and can't wait to go for the fight. Mark Giannato. Hey, Taylor, you mentioned Xavier and Grayson. Could you take us through those decisions? Because obviously those are gutsy calls to go with Xavier over Jaron when, when Jonas fouled out and also to go to Grayson 
over Bain in overtime and both moves paid off. What was your, I guess, thought process with those two moves? Uh, you know, gut feel, um, a lot of conversations with our coaching staff prior to tonight's game, during the game. Um, really tough calls for sure. Um, you know, with the foul trouble, with JJ and JV just throwing off the rhythm. Uh, for those guys, I thought, you know, X stepped in in the first half, did a lot of good things defensively, his length, his activity, blocking shots, rebounds. Um, obviously making big time shots there throughout the game, especially in that fourth quarter were huge, but 50-50 balls. Um, it, it was just a gut feel. Um, obviously going forward and all that stuff, you know, we know how important JV and JJ are and having them on the floor. Uh, it, it, it's, it, it's, a, it's a gut feel in the game. Grayson, you know, I thought Des was doing some good things. Grayson was doing some good things, but that last stretch just made a call, you know, for defensive purposes and, and the chance that maybe uh, Grayson would go out there and make a couple threes, and he did. Um, so it's a credit to those guys, our entire team staying ready. You never know when your number's called. You never know how the game's going to unfold. Uh, guys in foul trouble, guys in and out, rhythms off or whatnot. Um, tough calls to make for sure, but I know our depth's going to be super important in the next round. Josh Robbins. Thank you. Uh, Taylor, what did you like most about Josh's performance tonight? Just staying poised throughout the game. I mean, against an aggressive team and the Warriors, you know, a lot of game plan, you know, for him, different matchups thrown at him, the physicality. Uh, I thought as the game went on, we just kept talking to him about still being aggressive and getting to his sweet spots, uh, big time floaters, big time finishes late in the game. Uh, organization, uh, leadership on the court, you know, just that next play mentality. I think he did a lot of great things offensively, getting our guys organized, everyone responding to what actions we wanted to run. But I think another thing is him defensively did a lot of great things. Chasing shooters, hedging, double teaming and pick and rolls, staying connected to guys, weak side help. Um, big emphasis, you know, from the last game against Golden State where we didn't do a good job. Uh, challenged him, especially defensively, and he rose the occasion. Uh, did brilliantly tonight. And, 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 you know, he's built for these moments. And I'm, I'm proud that he, he played to that level that we expect and he expects of himself. And, you know, I know we're going to get him better and better and better moving forward. Joe Molnax. Coach, congratulations on the win. You mentioned a little bit there talking about John ja Morant, and obviously he was a big part of the team concept defensively tonight. From watching the game on Sunday against the Warriors, obviously the loss, and taking the lessons from that into this game, what changes did you actively make? What game plan adjustments did you, did you put in place? Uh, obviously Dylan was still a key part, but beyond that, what were some things that you guys did differently that uh, led to the success you had tonight? You know, just a little bit more attention detail uh, in our weak side help. Um, you know, I thought we did a heck of a job in the first game against Curry. Obviously, he had a heck of a night, another heck of a night from him. I mean, you're, you're not going to stop him at all. Uh, it takes a collective effort. Uh, but I thought our weak side help, you know, the, the rotations that we emphasized uh, in the last, you know, 48 hours, our guys were on point. Um, you know, him backdooring and cutting and not just getting layup after layup. You know, we had guys in those positions, crucial steals, uh, guys getting switched on him in transition, the attention to detail um, for it's not just DBs cover. It's not just one or two guys on Curry. Uh, there's just a lot of randomness. So our guys were just dialed in there. Um, so I would say just overall, you know, it, it was a team defense of kind of improvement uh, was big for us. Second chance points, you know, uh, they hurt us in the second half, but to establish that in the first half was really big. Um, you know, I thought we did a pretty good job in transition. They got on the second half a little bit too much against us, but you know, just little things within the game that we emphasize. Our guys did a heck of a job. Uh, it, it's not going to be perfect, but for the most part, we did a heck of a job and they led us to victory tonight. Sean Coleman. Coach, congratulations to you and the team on the victory. The flow of the game, you get off to the big start, they come back, you get a big lead, then Curry starts going, but you're able to do the things that beat the Warriors, create turnovers, get threes in the bench, just making the adjustments and emerging in the areas that you needed to, just the overcoming the late run by Curry, just how big is it for the, you said this was a growth opportunity, how big did the Grizzlies deliver tonight in growing when they needed to? Uh, unbelievable. I mean, uh, you know, in game, just resiliency, obviously, you know, last time we were here, we had a lead and, and, and lost it. Um, you know, we faced that in the San Antonio game. Uh, you just got to weather the storm, but we just kept finding ways to not let them build a lead. You know, their, their biggest lead was two. Um, it, it, you're not blowing the Warriors out here in the, this time of year. There's no blowouts. Um, it, it's 48 minutes of competitive basketball. So our guys to understand that staying with the game plan, a lot of guys contributing defensively and offensively. I'd say offensively, you know, a big emphasis of ours was having better balance. Um, 
you know, it's hard to score on this team in the paint. 48 points, you know, not not up to our average, but we understood we had to make more threes. Uh, better ball movement tonight uh, than the previous night. 35 threes compared to, I think we had 25 in the previous game. Obviously, knocking down the threes helps a lot. But that was a big emphasis. It's an aggressive defense. We got to make a simple play. Obviously, big time threes in the fourth quarter. Trusting the pass uh, was big and, and key. And, and the guys just, again, as I said, from one game to the next, just that improvement, that growth. Our guys always respond and, and understand what we did well, what we didn't do well, and try to do it better the next time. And, and tonight's a perfect case of that. That's all the time we have. Thanks, Coach. Great. Thanks, everybody.